My pasty, pale, glowy stay, okay? It's been five minutes and my knuckles are already really dark. This is, this is what I get for, for buying on an Instagram ad, like lazy girl tan. It, yeah, it popped in my face. Hi guys, it's Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Hello, who subscribes to Instagram for more? Today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Barley Body Ultra Dark Streak Free Tanning Mousse. It's beautiful. It's nude, it's smooth, and it's matte. So we want this in our life. So we've got the Barley Body Tan ready to use. I'm obviously my pasty, pale, glowy state, okay? So <laughs> we're good. So we've got our mitt ready to use. I like to use a velvet soft one. I mean, you guys know the routine by now. It's just getting it done. Okay, so shake really well. So let's have a little look at the instructions. For an even free streak, Ugh. For an even streak free tan exfoliate prior to application, moisturize dry areas yet. So, we've done all that moisturizing. We shave, exfoliate the day before, so then today our skin nice and settled. Step two, shake well for best results. Apply with our Lux tanning cube. So, we don't have one of those. Okay, starting at the ankles to oh, working your way up. But well, you know what? We're going to work our way down. Okay, this is this how we do it. This is how we do it in this this channel. We work our way like down because it's fine, you know. Wait until touch dry to get dressed. So it's actually pretty similar to normal. The only difference is this tan is telling us to work our way from our feet all the way up, but we're going to work from our neck all the way down and do our face mask because that's just how we roll. It's so dark. It yeah, it popped in my face. Well, now I've got, yeah, okay. This is going well. It smells like soap. I think like all fake tans are in, oh my God. Okay, I see why they said like work your way from your feet up. So then it's not such a dramatic change when you see your neck compared to your, I even look, like this is, this is, this is a lot. Okay. It smells very nice. It, it actually is really, I really like that, it smells very clean. What is it meant to smell like? Is there a particular, no, not meant to be scented. Lightweight, fast, fast drying. It's fast drying, okay. As we know, I do not have a good relationship with fast drying tans, I take far too long. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that blended really well. Okay, cool, good tan, good first impression. Oh, I can't go over how dark it is. It's literally like the same color as the mitt. I mean, it might look completely different on camera, but it looks brown. Yeah, it looks brown on camera. But let's just... I mean, that is super dark. I don't think I've ever had a fake tan that sort of come out this dark before. So that's quite an impressive um, achievement. Yeah, I've got a tiny cut and it's kind of blended into that cut. So just pre warning. I am finding this a little bit harder to blend out than normal. Like it normally it doesn't take so long to kind of buff into my skin, but this is definitely taking some buffing. But the colour is unreal. It just literally looks like I've just blended in a fake tan. Okay. But it looks like I've just blended in. Oh <laughs> my goodness, that well that was wow. Yeah, I'm gonna stop because I just look even more stupid than I just was five seconds ago. We're actually looking like in comparison. There is actually quite a big colour. Oh, did I miss that? I think I missed that. So there is actually quite a big difference. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. I can't get over how dark that fake down is. I'm finding it like super hard to blend in. It's like, it's almost like it doesn't want to blend into my skin. It's kind of like trying to sit on top of it, which. It's not cute. I mean, look at my wrist for goodness sake. That's not blending in. I can't exactly blend that into the palm of my hand. I need towel, that's what I mean. If you ever feel like you've applied too much tan, I always just get a towel and just wipe. I've done my whole arm or like literally I just wipe the palm of my hand just straight onto that. And what it does is it just takes it off without letting that tan develop. And then you don't end up like, well, with a horrible patch that you just did not want. It's like going into the cracks of, I, I hope that that's just like, that's weird. That's, I don't even know how to blend that out. This is, this is what I get for, for buying on an Instagram ad, okay? It happens a lot. What is happening? Give it a heads up. It's not a blend into your belly button kind of deal. Okay, so I will see you guys in a few minutes. I'm just gonna apply it to the rest of my body and then, um, yeah, we'll just go from there. It's been five minutes and my knuckles are already really dark. 
So I have officially waited eight whole hours and I am fully developed. I mean, it's dark. I am so bronzy and tanned. I, I just, it's a lot. It has just been a huge transformation. I've been very pasty for the last like a week or so. So this, this is a lot. But my hands are not so cute right now. I mean, my knuckles are very clearly dark. So we'll just, yeah, I'm just gonna wash it off and then hopefully will be a good color. My, my face is much darker than my body and I applied this an hour afterwards, so. We'll just see, okay. Okay, so I may have overreacted a little bit. It was obviously a colour guard that was um, making me as dark as it was. Don't get me wrong, I am dark and I am very tanned, but my hands, I mean, they're still pretty bad, but definitely not as bad as what they were. My knuckles are still pretty like, yeah, not cute, but I feel like that will fade, especially with all the hand washing that we've got to be doing. It's, it's gonna be fine. But overall, like the actual colour is really good. It has washed off better on my face as well than I thought it was going to. I have a little bit of like acne at the minute, which is like clinging to my skin, but it's fine. But this tan, I will be honest, is not very forgiving if you've got like any little cuts or any like spots or anything, it will just seep into it. So just a pre-warning, but I did managed to wipe it all off around my hairline, which I was concerned about because obviously now I am. Now I'm platinum again, fake tan literally just sticks to, yeah. I don't know I say it every time, but this tan colour is actually pretty unreal. I've never had a tan colour, which is actually made with this tan, ever. Like, this is the most tanned I think I've ever been from a fake tan. The only place, like I said, that it's gone a bit funny is just my hands, and then obviously on any acne or spots that I had on my face originally. We're gonna see how long this tan lasts for, how well it fades, if it transfers onto anything, and we'll just sort of, we'll just get through all the pros and cons of this tan. I will see you later in the week. So, I'm gonna jump straight into the tanning review. So we have obviously applied it. I'm on day seven of this tan and I'm actually still tanned. This is the most unbelievable tan I've ever had. And I say it every time I try a tan on, but this time I mean it the most. I've never had a tan that has lasted as long as this tan has, ever. It is so dark still. I'm actually tanned, like not even like a little bit. I'm actually bronzed and it's weird. Barley Body Ultra Dark is the best tan I have ever used. I'm actually going to have to say it right now. It's unbelievable. So let me jump straight into the pros and cons of this bad boy. Pros, it's everything you've ever wanted in a tan. So it doesn't really smell that much. And I mean like, like it doesn't really smell like fake tanny. When I was putting it on, I couldn't really notice the smell, which was quite unreal because normally tans smell quite bad. This one smelled fine. It was like kind of soapy, kind of fake tanny. Now the application of the actual tan itself was super easy and it came out so dark. And that, that was a scary thing. I was pretty terrified putting it on my skin. I thought I'm actually going to just look awful. I'm gonna look orange, but no, that was deceiving. It was actually amazing. It was super smooth and easy to put on my skin. It glided over everything. I was really doubtful of this product. I, I have to be honest, I doubted it massively. I thought it was gonna get stuck all around my wrists. I thought it was gonna look really bad and it clung to my knuckles. And I thought it was gonna cling to things that I didn't want it to cling to, but no, it was actually surprisingly really nice and it was evenly distributed around my body and it just it was amazing the next thing I want to talk about is the color the color of this tan is actually like a golden tan it's not orangey it's actually this deep golden bronziness that everybody wants on an actual tan but it's in a fake one unbelievable like actually mind blown it is the most amazing fake tan colour I've ever had that I've thought actually looked like a tan. So I'm just saying, if you want a tan that looks like a tan, in a fake tan, this is your tan. This is now my go-to tan. Like, that, that is how good this tan is. I am going to wear this for the rest of my life. The next good thing about this tan is, it barely transferred. And I mean like, it barely transferred onto anything. And again, I went for white bed sheets and just to see if it transferred onto my pillow, onto my clothes. I noticed no transfer onto my clothes and only a slight one on my pillow at night because I lay on my face and dribble all over my pillow. But that's the only kind of tan I noticed. And it was the smallest amount, not com nothing compared to any other tan I've had before. This, this tan barely transferred onto anything. And I get really hot at night just, but, nothing barely anything it was it was wonderful it was honestly 
the best tan and it's faded evenly on all my joints so like around my armpits where I find the most rubbing around my wrists my hands like my hands are still tanned and I have washed them profusely over this lockdown period so moving on to the cons of the tan because nothing is perfect and there is always something that is not quite right about tan I have two complaints about this tan number one it did stick to my knuckles a little bit and I, I don't want to like knock it down because it wasn't bad but it did cling to my knuckles a little bit more than i wanted but the only way i could have got around that if i moisturized my knuckles a little bit more next time and extra sparing around them because that is avoidable that was just a me problem so we're all good the second thing is this product is slightly overpriced it is 26 pound now i wouldn't say that's cheap but i wouldn't say it's expensive but for me for a normal tan i'm like quite happy at about a 20 pound budget for a fake tan but this one is 26 pound now, am I saying it's worth it? Yes, 100%. But it's still obviously quite expensive because you can get other tans on the market that's still pretty good. You know, St. Marez, hello, that's a really cheap tan. It's very affordable compared to something that's £26. But, however, I am saying, in terms of longevity, not really transferring the smell, it's definitely worth £26. And I probably would actually pay more for it but let's just not, you know, up the price because that'd be rude. So those are the only two complaints I have about this tan. Overall, I'm actually going to give this tan a five out of five. I don't even care. Like the cons meant nothing to me, nothing. It was the most amazing fake tan I've ever put on. In fact, I would encourage everybody to get this tan and wear it forever. It is the, honestly, I can't, it sounds so ridiculous, but I just can't say enough how much I love this tan. I thought I was a Bondi Sands person and then I tried Scent Tropez pairs I still can't say it and I thought that was like it and then I tried this and went no this is actually it this is the tan Bali body this this is the tan I'm going to use for the rest of my life and I'm still tan seven days on lazy girl tan and that is it so I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe comment down below my Instagram is also linked down there so don't forget to check that out and that is it so love you see you bye